Hello, my pretties. What's up? It's the Lion Queen here. Welcome to episode 324 of Shadows and Pretties. Today we are going to be reviewing a Never Resident Evil movie, and it turns out to be pretty much the final chapter of the Resident Evil, well, movie series. But there is a, a reboot of the movie called Welcome to Raccoon City, which um, came out in 2021. I'll review that one eventually in the future. But today we're going to be reviewing the fi this final Resident Evil movie of the series, which is the six movies of movie of the Resident Evil movie, and this one is called Resident Evil: The Final Chapter. This one came out in 2016, so that was about nearly eight years ago, and this film was released in the United States in 2017, while it was released in 2016 in Japan. So basically, this movie, I have not seen this movie until just recently. So yeah, this movie does involve, you know, um, cast from, you know, the original series. They came back. Most of the actors came back to do, you know, the characters in the in this game, in the movie, which is awesome. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, talk about what this movie's about. In case if you guys, you know, haven't watched this movie yet, or for those who would want a refresher, here we go. This, the plot about it is basically about, about James, Dr. James Marcus, the founder of Umbrella Corporation, had a daughter named Alicia, who is dying of progeria, which is um, a type of, pretty much a disease or something. Desperate to save her, Marcus confiscates the untested embryonic umbrella project created by his colleague, Dr. Charles Ashford, the T-virus, and he uses it on Alicia and, um, uh, and others with the disease. After the child was treated with the virus and dies, becomes a zombie, Marcus immediately orders the project terminated, all data to be, uh, be destroyed, and forbids Ashford from ever pursuing it again. Devastating Ashford, who intended to T virus to save his own daughter Angela Angela, Marcus's partner, Dr. Alexander Isaacs, has Marcus murdered by Albert Western and adopts Alicia and takes over the corporation. In present time, Alice wakes up in the ruined White House after Wesker betrays her. The Red Queen appears and tells her that she has forty eight hours to infiltrate the hive, a facility underneath Raccoon City. The Umbrella Corporation has an airborne antivirus that kills every zombie, but is waiting for the last few remaining humans to be wiped out as her body carries the virus. Alice does not expect to live after the mission. However, while traveling, Alice gets captured by Isaacs, learning that the Isaacs she had previously killed was a clone. She escapes his convoy and reaches Raccoon City, where she meets a group of survivors, Doc, Abigail, Christian, Colbat, Razor, and Claire Redfield, who had survived the attack at Garcarda. Isaac's convoy approaches and is trailered by a horde of zombies, while Alice and the group defeats them and retrieves Isaac's a few human captives. Though Colbat dies in the process, unfortunately, Alice and the crew enter the hive, where Wesker is in control, where he releases a mutated guard dogs, killing Christian and a few free the captive. The Red Queen appears to Alice and explains to her program is in conflict and she can never hurt an Umbrella employee, so she must value the human life. She also pays, plays a video of Isaacs explaining Umbrella's ex executives' a plan to spread the T-virus, cleansing the world of humanity, and leaving many of the rich and powerful, including the company's ex executives, stored in the cryogenic capsules in the hive, with the intention of rebuilding the world following the resulting apocalypse. The Red Queen warns Alice that someone in her group is helping Umbrella, so that is pretty much her warning. So, later on, the group encounters several traps that end up killing Abigail and Razor, while Alice and Doc plants bombs throughout the hive, taken from the leftover equipment by the first hive team. They confront the real tech-upgraded Isaacs, Doc turns out to be the Umbrella Spy, and Claire is captured by Albert Wesker. A cryogenic capsule opens, releasing Alicia to Marcus, Umbrella's co-owner, and Marcus's daughter, Isaacs, and the Red Queen reveal to Alice that she is actually a clone of Alicia. 
So Isaac has plans to eliminate the pair and assume the control of Umbrella. Alicia fires Wesker along with the Red Queen to terminate his pro the protection program and crush his leg with the security door. Doc tries to shoot Alice, but his gun gets empty, and Alice had earlier deducted the treachery, and Claire kills him, leaving Wesker a dead man switch to prime the bombs, and Alice and Claire pursue Isaacs while Alicia uploads a copy of her childhood memories. Isaacs, Alice, and Claire fight, while Isaac overpowers them at first, but Alice manages to activate the grenade in his pocket and kill them. She escapes to the surface with the antivirus, but Isaacs reboots and catches her before she can release it. Before he can kill her, Isaacs' clone from the convoy arrives and kills him, believing himself to be the original Isaacs. The clone is then devoured by the undead, while I Alice releases the antivirus, killing all the zombies around her before she passes out. Wesker simultaneously drops the dead man's switch, destroying himself and Alicia and the hive, hibernating the elite. So Claire wakes Alice up who has survived because the antivirus killed the T-virus within her body and not the healthy cells. The Red Queen uploads Alicia's childhood memories into Alice, granting her a childhood, which the antivirus is being carried by the winds. It will take years to reach all the corners of the globe until it does, Alice vows to continue with her mission, and that's how the movie ends. What a really great movie. I mean, I personally like that this one is pretty much a really amazing movie. I thought it was really good. Even though it's called The Final Chapter, I do like that this is like a perfect ending to the Resident Evil film series. Now, Oh, honestly, I thought this was a really good movie. It has a lot of action. It's got a lot of gore. It's got a lot of cool, insane stuff, which I thought that was pretty neat. I personally really thought it was a good movie, along with the other Resident Evil movies. Now, with that being said, this is just only my own personal opinion, because I don't know why, but a lot of people seem to not really like this movie for some reason. I don't know why. But some people have, you know, had reviews saying, oh, this movie sucks and stuff like that. Honestly, I didn't think this one was a bad movie. I thought it was pretty good for what it is. So with that being the case and with that being said, this movie, I could definitely recommend this to anybody, especially if you're a Resident Evil fan. If you're a Resident Evil fan like myself, you definitely will enjoy this movie if you like the other Resident Evil films. It's got really good action. It's got good actors. It's really amazing. You definitely really will enjoy it if you're a Resident Evil fan. So with that being the case and with that being said, what did you guys personally think of this movie? Let me know what your thoughts down in the comments below, if you like it or not, etc. Because like I always say, this is just my own personal opinion. And if you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine too. So anyways, what did you guys personally think of this movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what you have done personally to help make this movie a lot better? Feel free to let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload. So that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, if you're interested in following me on Twitter, link to my Twitter account will be in the About page section. So you guys can go find that if you want. Also, if you're interested in following me on, you know, um, DeviantArt, link to my DeviantArt will be in the About page section, so you guys can go follow me on there. Also, if you're interested in subscribing to my backup channel known as Ms. Dark Shigo, link to that will also be in the About page section, so you guys can go check that out. And as always, that's pretty much all I have to really say, but if I'm missing something, please let me know what it is in the comments below. I think I've got everything, but if I am missing something please feel free to let me know what it is that I'm missing. Okay, so I guess with that being the case and with that being said, um, I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video. And as always, peace out. And like always, I'll see you all next time.